Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot on Toshiba Dynabook Tecra. So on your keyboard you can see this print screen button which is right next to the F12 button. In some other language versions it may be named differently but it's just next to the F12 so that's where you find it. And um, underneath there is also another option but the other option is achieved by pressing on Fn combined with that key so don't worry about it you just need to press on um, that print screen key alone and it'll open the snipping tool in the snipping tool you can select whether it's a screenshot or a video recording then you can also select a mode of screenshotting, either rectangle, window, full screen or freeform. And I'm gonna show you all of them. So the first one is rectangle and it just lets you select a certain portion of the screen that you want to screenshot. It'll send you this not notification but you don't really need to click on it since it's automatically copied to clipboard and saved to screenshots folder. So in case you want to paste it somewhere, then you can just click on Ctrl and V on your keyboard or right click somewhere, then click on, uh, click on paste. And you can do that, for example, in text editors, but also in some messages apps uh, or whatever you want to paste it in. Mm, although it will not function as a file from the clipboard, so that's worth noting that you can't just paste it onto your desktop, although you can paste it into Paint if you want. So you can just open the Paint and paste it with the Ctrl and V on your keyboard, mm, but you don't really have to do it since it's automatically saved to the file explorer in pictures and screenshots and here are all of your screenshots sorted by date. Now as we get to uh, the next option it captures windows so as I click on the print screen I can select the window screenshot then hover over a window that I want to screenshot it will highlight it then as I click on it you can see that it's screenshotted you can click on the notification in case you want because here you can edit that um, screenshot by drawing over it, highlighting something. Of course, these tools can also have their colors and size changed as well as here. Uh, then you can also erase uh, that tool or insert a certain shape. Um, and the, uh, then after editing, you can also crop it and then either save it or copy it. And now let's get to the full screen screenshot. So you just need to click on full screen and it'll immediately capture it. And the free form, I don't find it really useful, but you can just draw a certain shape. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.